Hey beautiful, welcome back to my tarot channel. If this is your first time here, I'm Roya. I'm an intuitive tarot oracle reader. Now my dear, I hope you're having an amazing day and everything is going fine with you. If today's not the best day, I'm sending you tons and tons and tons of positive energy and I hope everything will be well soon. Now guys, today I'm back with another pick a card reading and today's pick a card reading is all about secrets and surprises your future self wants to share with you about your future. So let's see my dear, what your future self would like to tell you regarding the energies that are coming towards you, what do you need to know? what especially like surprises and secrets here i would like to focus on that things that you know may still be hidden from you maybe certain things you don't see coming yet so this is definitely a very very exciting reading and my dear as always i have three pals you can choose from and the topic of today are queens I chose the Queen of Pentacles, the Queen of Cups, and the Queen of Swords. We also have crystals here. So this is pal one, this is pal two, and this is going to be pal three. This is the Queen of Pentacles, the Queen of Cups, and the Queen of Swords, as you see. As always, my dear, please feel free to pause the video, or you can also meditate on the cards if you feel like you need a little bit more time to choose. You will find all the timestamps in the description box, but of course, I'll send a comment section. And as always, my dear, please keep in mind that this is a general reading, so not everything may resonate with you. But yeah, having said that, let's begin. Hey pal one, welcome to your reading, my dear. Now let's see what secrets and surprises does your future self want to share with you about your future, about what's to come? Let's see what information and insights we can get for you guys. Now, let's start straight away. Let's get you guys some tarot cards. Oh my goodness, I throw them on the floor. One second. Okay. All right. For my beautiful pile... One, secret surprises your future self would like to share with you. About your future, let's see. For my dear pile, one. All right, that's enough. So let's see, let's see. For my dear pile. Okay, one card and we have the moon card, the card of the secrets in the tarot coming through as the first one. Okay, one second. One card fell. We have the eight of pentacles for my dear pile one. What do you need to know? The seven of wands. The Eight of Swords in Reverse. Ooh, the Nine of Cups. My goodness. We have the High Priestess. Let me put them a little bit more up there. All right. Okay. Let's continue. For my dear pile, one. Wow, the six of wands. And let's get you guys one last card, please. Secrets and surprises. Your future self. Too many, too many. Would like to share with you. Let's see. About your future. For my dear pile, one. Okay, one card fell. And it's the temperance card
At the back of the deck, we have the Page of Swords. Okay, my dear pile one, there is quite a lot we need to talk about here. I am getting a lot of messages coming through for you and yeah, I can definitely see that your future self has a lot to share with you. I would like to start with this. I know this <laughs> reading, like the intention is literally about secrets and surprises that you're not aware of, right? But even through the cards, I can already say that these are definitely things that you are not aware of yet. It's almost like they're being kept a secret on purpose or maybe it's really, you don't see them yet. It's, it's very clear to me, like the energy is literally underlining that. Now, what I would like to say is there is such an incredible growth coming through here like you growing as a person that I really feel like this version of you that we are stepping into energetically looking at here is very very different from where you are right now I really feel like my dear and I mean that's the part of life right we go through cycles we go through phases and with that we also grow we bring transformation and stuff like that and this is definitely one thing i see with you guys so so clearly prepare yourself because this version which is being shown to me here it's a very transformative and i'm even hearing upgraded version of you now what does that mean upgraded i really really feel like this version of you that's coming through okay that your future self is sharing with us is you stepping much more into your authenticity and also shaping or creating your life in a way that um, is very authentic to you and at the same time really growing into your greatest version this energy I'm tuning in here is you living as your greatest version. And this is something so, so beautiful to see. Mm, I don't know. I feel like maybe this is also a motivation for someone. It definitely feels this way. It's almost like your future self would like to motivate you and let you see how much potential there is in you because sometimes when we are you know like stuck in our day-to-day -day life or in a certain like cycle in life it is very difficult for us to to see beyond that right we may only focus on the situation we're in right now and we may even feel very much stuck in it and we may not allow ourselves to imagine you know how we may or how our life could improve in the future you know or how a i'm literally hearing how living our best life would look like and i really feel like your future self on purpose is coming through here wanting to share this with you so you expand your mind to the potential that Things can not only get better, but things can actually get for the best or to the best, you know? Now, one thing I would like to say is that if you guys feel like you are, I'm hearing at times um, maybe trapped or stagnating in certain situations in your life i really feel like this version of you that's coming through is one that doesn't allow i'm hearing mm, nonsense for some reason okay to take their energy away this version of you that i'm tuning into is one that is not only protective of themselves but doesn't allow the chains of the past or the traps of um, their environment to get them anymore. It's kind of like your future self wants you to... Mm, one second. 
Okay, your future self wants, yeah, they want me to share with you that this energy that they are showing me is of a person who doesn't compromise when it comes to what is very dear to them and most importantly their well-being i really see that when it comes to this future energy you are at a place in your life in which you truly truly feel so peaceful you truly feel so i'm hearing arrived in your life i'm hearing calm i'm hearing where i belong where i should be there is this level like level of satisfaction here true satisfaction that is so beautiful to witness because i really feel like my dear you're living your best life here and of course it depends on what this is to you because we're all different and this is something excuse me we're all different <laughs> and this is something i always say that my greatest version may look very very different from your greatest version or whatever i consider you know being living my best life may look very different from how you would describe you know your best life to be so this is something we need to keep in mind here but the um, bottom line here is that there is this level of true peacefulness coming through that truly is something that is so value and so precious and this is something that is key when it comes to this future energy this could be one of the most valuable things for you in the future and maybe even right now and something that you are not going to compromise on i feel like this version of you is definitely very aware of the fact that you know whoever we surround ourselves with well their energy influences us no matter where we go to, no matter what kind of circumstances we surround ourselves with, it influences us as well. And it's kind of like, do you see this? I would like to only focus on the illustration of the Seven of Wands. I'm going to try to zoom a little bit in. <laughs> so do you see that? It almost looks like this person is creating like a little bubble around them. And... I don't know why, but for me, it really looks like a protective bu bubble <laughs> that is coming from their center. It's a kind of like they're creating it and all these wands, like they can't poke through it. You know, it's super protective. And you can also see, I mean, the way she's sitting, it looks like she may be meditating, but definitely she's in a very, very good space and very, very empowered and this is just illustration, okay? So it doesn't matter who you are. This is just an example here. I really, really feel like one um, surprise in a way that your future self would like to share with you is that this version of you that you're stepping into, this future version of yourself is so powerful. And especially knows what's important to them this version of you is not confused this version of you is not easily manipulated this version of you knows where they're heading towards knows what they want and if some kind of energy doesn't resonate with them they will keep it away and i really feel like your future self is sharing with us an insight and it's that you're pretty busy here like it really feels like there is a lot you are you're diving into there is a lot that you're dedicated to really it could be um when it comes to your career i even see like multiple businesses for some of you guys of course as always take it how it resonates it could also be like multiple hobbies if it's not a business or work related that you're very passionate about but i really feel like 
you're putting your energy into things that make sense to you. And when I say make sense, sometimes we we do certain things because we have to do them right. We we may not like it, but we don't question it because certain things just have to, you know, be done. And what I'm looking into here, it is not so much about what I have to do, but what I enjoy to do. Do you understand? Like, do you see this switch or this change here? Yeah, I can just repeat myself here. Your future self is, is definitely living a very, very authentic and um, honestly, I want to say pleasurable life. Something that, first of all, makes sense to them, but also fills them with joy. Wow. <laughs> wow, wow. There is a lot of energy of joy in this, you know? And once once again, I really feel like saying that if you guys have been in phases in your life in which you somehow felt trapped, in the future, what your future self is sharing with me is that You're so protective of yourself and you're not allowing anyone power like that over you. I would like to get you guys some some oracle cards. Let's see. Let me put this right here. For my beautiful pile one, what secrets and surprises would like your future self to share with you? Let's see. What do you need to know? What would your future self like to share here? For my dear pile one, too many. I only want one card. Okay. Yeah, look at that. We got detoxify. Hmm. This for me is is making a lot of sense. You know, if we want to make our life somehow better okay when i say better once again it depends on what we feel like um is better for us right or what we are thriving towards what we would like to have in our life or experience in our life but in order to do that or to get that we need to make sure that certain patterns that maybe always kept us away from whatever it is that we want that we also you know, stay away from them, right? I mean, we can't bring change or a better situation if we keep going um, the way we used to when it always just brings us something we are not happy with, right? I mean, a different outcome needs also a different action. I really feel like... I hope I can explain this the best way possible here. Um, do you understand what I mean, you guys? What I'm basically trying to say is that you can't expect things to change if you're always sticking with the same energies or the same habits when the outcome that comes with those same habits um, are not satisfied, you know, or you're not satisfied by them. So there needs to be a change of habit or a change of action, stuff like that to get a different outcome, right? And what I really feel like is... One thing that it almost feels like your future self religiously lives by or is like a huge part of their life is to always double check whether something is still, I'm, you know, we had the aspect of well-being coming through, whether something is still enhancing their well-being or still good for their well-being or not. So, 
let's just say your future self has a friend and this friend and them you know they always had a good relationship and stuff like that but then they feel like their friend is starting to put them down or you know they're getting very negative energy from them as if maybe this friend is starting to become jealous or envious or you no know, wants to put your future self down in many different ways on purpose your future self is not gonna just stick around just because they have been friends for a very long time no your future self will always keep in mind that if something is not good for you detoxify if you feel like um something is draining you detoxify this is kind of their mindset and they definitely have the right to do so you know your future self you have free will and you can decide for yourself how you want to go about situations and in this particular situation i definitely see that your future self doesn't entertain nonsense anymore again the nonsense energy is coming through like i got this energy mm -hmm. okay let's Okay, this card was turned over as well. And we have make time for self-love. Yes, I really feel like the motivation be behind all these things is the self-love aspect. Your future self has such a beautiful connection to themselves, okay? They truly love themselves that they know they deserve better or that they know that you know they don't have to allow those negative energies around if they're not good like they know that they deserve peace they deserve for example let's go back to the friends example your future self knows that they deserve friends who are caring you know nurturing um good people just the same way your future self is a good person and they will not put up with the complete opposite you know negative or envious friend or toxic friends so this protective energy that i've been talking about even do you remember this this bubble i've been talking about honestly this is a bubble of self-love that is there for protection to keep whatever doesn't mm, support this this well-being or self-love energy and does the complete opposite maybe even literally hurt it to keep it away your future self does not like absolutely does not joke around when it comes to their happiness their joy and their well-being their self-love and maybe that's also one thing by the way i've been talking about the fact that very early on in the reading there is just this aspect of growth in your energy you know this transformation energy that i've been talking about it could also be connected to self-love of course once again take it how it resonates it could be very different for a lot of you guys but definitely for some of you guys maybe it's the self-love aspect maybe you're trying to be more self-loving maybe you are on a self-love journey right now and it's kind of like you feel like you still have to go a long way but you're starting somewhere and you know you're giving your best which is beautiful you know even if we're not where we want to be yet, if we still keep going and we're doing our best, that's so, so beautiful, right? Instead of just um, throwing everything away and just giving up. And I see that you're trying your best. I see that you always try to give yourself the love and the nurture and the treatment that you deserve. But what I'm seeing is that in the future, 
this self-love journey of yours will go to a complete different level. And it's because you have connected with yourself, you know, along the journey in ways that like no one can take this away from you. No one can. I'm hearing. Okay, that's interesting. I'm hearing no one can come between you and yourself anymore. So that's interesting. Okay. There could have been some people in your life, whether it's family, friends, um, <laughs> friends or um, like romantic partners, just people in general, maybe even certain concepts that have been put into your mind by society or certain standards. Maybe they have been coming between you and yourself, making you feel bad about yourself or not see your true value. And it's kind of like no one can, once again, no one can poke this bubble and enter this bubble of self-love not anymore no matter how hard they're trying no matter how many wands you will try with it doesn't work anymore because this is a bond that is unbreakable and i feel like this is probably one of the biggest secrets your future self would like to share with you about your future how beautiful the relationship with yourself has grown and honestly will empower almost yeah every single aspect of your life okay so my dear pile one this is all i have for you guys for today as always my dear please feel free to let me know how you feel about this reading and yeah as always my dear if you haven't, I also invite you to subscribe to the channel. If you do, my dear, don't forget to hit the bell because otherwise you may not get notified when I upload and you pick a card or candle wax reading. And my dear, as always, if you would like to connect with me more on Instagram, I invite you there as well. My beautiful pal one, take care, my dear. Hey pal 2, welcome to your reading my dear. Now let's see what secrets and surprises does your future self want to share with you about your future? What don't you see coming yet? What important insights do you need to know about what's coming for you? Now my dear, as always, I would like to first give you guys some tarot cards, so let's look into that. For my dear pal 2, secrets and surprises your future self would like to share with you about your future. What do you need to know? Let's see, let's see. For my beautiful pal 2. All right, that's enough. So, ooh, one card already. Ooh, the wheel, the wheel of fortune interesting let's see too many cards for my dear pile two secrets and surprises your future self would like to share with you oh my goodness too many again one or two but not more than that okay one of oh, two cards fell we have the Four of Pentacles. We also got the Queen of Swords. We got the Knight of Swords. Ooh, too many... For my beautiful pile too. Let's see, let's see, my dear. What do you need to know? We have the page of pentacles. The seven of pentacles. What is this? The six of pentacles. And let's get you guys one last card. We have the knight. <laughs> All pentacles energy right here. Interesting. Okay. At the back of the deck, we have for you guys the world card. So let me put them a little more up there so you can see the cards below better as well. 
Okay. So for my beautiful pal two, what secrets and surprises would your future self like to share with you about your future? What do you need to know? First of all, my dear, I would like to start with this. I see that your future self is is showing me that there will be a very, very specific thing that you're desiring for quite a long time. It can very much be a manifestation. It feels like something you've been waiting for a long time, okay? A very, very long time for. I feel like it is either love-related or career-related because they're not um, showing me yet information regarding that. It's kind of like they're showing just the... Um, like the manifestation and you know what it will make you feel i really feel like whatever this is whether it's related to your love life or to your career this thing that you have been waiting for trying to manifest for such such a long time is coming through here and i almost would like to say that divine timing has really influenced this energy tremendously this could very well be something that you're right now waiting for maybe for a very long time even and it's kind of like i feel like you are either very annoyed or just very confused as for why this thing you know is not coming through yet something you're trying to manifest for such a long time now Maybe you guys even know deep down that there is a divine timing attached to it. Maybe you got insights regarding it through your guides, maybe through readings, whatever it may be. But you may know that when it comes to this manifestation you're trying to bring in, you need to be patient for it. And I'm literally hearing... The best things in life take time. So that's very interesting. One second, let me see. Yeah. The, I don't know why I feel like it could... For the majority of your life... Uh, excuse me. For the majority of you guys, it could be love-related. Um, however, still I'm getting this career energy coming through. So... For others, it could be regarding your pentacles. Now, this is the first surprise or secret I would say your future self would like to share with you that indeed this manifestation that you're, you know, trying um, to bring in to not lose hope regarding it because they're sharing it with you. They're giving you the insight that it is there, okay? Your future self... Um, is showing you that. Now let's see what else we can get. Another thing I would like to share with you guys is that regardless if this manifestation for you is about career or not, okay, that's let's put this aside, whether it's love or career, um, this is not about that. There is another thing coming through regarding your career and it's that I really, really feel like, my dear, and of course it depends on where you are right now because the situation for you guys may be very, very different, you know, depending on where you're at at the moment. For some of you guys, you may be studying. For others, you may be um, already working, maybe... Um, even working on a career or, you know, only having a job, whatever it may be in your particular situation. I really feel like when we focus on the career aspect and the pentacles, the finances of yours, there is going to be a big growth that I see you doing when it comes to, yeah, your future. It really feels like you have, um, yeah, I'm literally hearing the fruits of my labor. It really feels like this future self of yours is um, 
yeah, reaping what they've sown. Like, yeah, exactly that. I really feel like throughout the journey, you're creating something for yourself which is solid, something that may at first go a little bit slow. But the foundation, you know, this is built on is very solid and I see you going to the next level when it comes to your career. Once again, for some of you guys, maybe you are in a period right now in which you have to have a little bit of patience even regarding your career, okay? Maybe you're not seeing it yet thrive the way you would like it to or maybe you still have bigger plans for yourself and where you want to take it, right? Definitely this energy is very encouraging in the sense that your future self wants you to keep believing in yourself, wants you to keep believing in the vision that you have for yourself, for your life, you know, the goals. Because I'm hearing you can absolutely make it. It's almost like your future self is sharing it with you. That when you put your mind into something that you truly care for or which is truly important to you, there is really no limit as for how far you can go. The limit is something that at the end of the day you set for yourself and your future self is definitely... <laughs> sharing here with you to not set the limit um low okay i'm literally hearing i know it sounds very cheesy but i'm hearing not even the sky is the limit so this is very encouraging i really feel like my dear pal too there is a lot of potential in you that in the future you will have I'm hearing the right opportunities coming your way, which will allow you to not only share it, but actually thrive doing so. Because it's almost like um, it is written for you to, to become successful or to reach a certain amount of success and to, you know, flourish in whatever it is that you're putting your energy into you. I really, really feel like you can reach certain heights that a lot of people may have never expected you to do or to achieve. I don't know why this is coming through. Maybe for some of you guys, in your environment, um, in your surrounding, excuse me, maybe there are some people that don't really see what you see in yourself or maybe you have felt like, at times to were discouraged by others and it's kind of like your future self wants to take the role right now as the one who encourages you as the one who believes in you and this is very very important believe in yourself because i know why i heard it is not someone else's job to believe in you but it's your own job to believe in yourself Okay, that's interesting. I really feel like it came th from your future self. This could be like kind of their um, their mantra or how they like to live by, you know. They may think it starts with me. Like whatever comes from the outside is, is extra. But at the end of the day, the amount of belief that I have towards myself is what comes first and if other people believe in me as well that's great but if not still what matters is is how I see myself and yeah I would like to say that your future self is coming through so strongly honestly I'm hearing powerful independent I'm hearing strong this is the energy that your future self is embodying and I know why I heard there are not a lot of people who want to me mess around with your future self okay I'm hearing someone really has to be um okay that's interesting not in the right like 
mind if they would like to mess with your future self because your future self is not one that um gonna accept the bull the bs excuse me <laughs> okay so honestly i feel like your future self has made people respect them a lot okay through their sharp mind through the things that they've created and wow i'm getting a lot of information coming through i'm wondering whether this is something that you are i mean this reading is all about secrets and surprises regarding your future right things that you may not see yet coming However, sometimes, you know, we may have certain visions for ourselves in our life or how we would want to be perceived one day and stuff like that. And I'm wondering if, if this is something that um, you have ever thought about moving into energetically, you know. But this is definitely an incredible energy to be in. I really feel like this is the mindset of someone like just looking at the energies your future self is a person that can achieve almost everything if once again they believe in themselves it's kind of like your future self opens up doors even where there are no doors they will find a way why because they want to create the best life for themselves and i feel like especially the element or excuse me the the aspect of security of stability is very huge for your future self it could be one of the most important aspects of their life okay i don't know how you um how you think about stability right now or security whether it is something that you know makes up a huge part of your life or not but for your future self if something doesn't bring security or some kind of like stability honestly they will think twice whether it has place in their life or not or space even honestly speaking when it comes to like partnership or romance and stuff like that of course take it how it resonates for some of you guys maybe you are in relationships right now or for others maybe you're single but i really see that even when it comes to romance this version of you needs to have a connection in which the stability aspect is huge okay that's something i'm seeing here very very much now i would like to get you guys some oracle cards as well let's see for my dear pile two what do you need to know let's see let's see one more Okay. the first card we have think it through this is exactly the energy of your of your future self someone who thinks things through very very much it has to be long term it has to be stable it has to be i'm hearing consistent as well now look at the queen of swords I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Now, it doesn't matter who you are, okay? This is just an example here. But this person literally looks like they're thinking. <laughs> they're thinking about something. Or, um, yeah, their mind, you know, is wandering somewhere. I really feel like your future self is as strong as a mountain. Nothing can, like, shake them. And at the same time, there is a huge, like potential within their mind space that is so impressive you are so intelligent my dear pal too you are so intelligent 
and I really feel like this future self of yours is coming through sharing with you that they know exactly how to profit out of it or how or what excuse me or how to bring the best um outcome out for themselves okay if you understand what i mean if i had to give this reading a keyword it would be strong the way your future self is leading their life is so strong and empowered. The way your future self is performing and coming through is so strong. It is so impressive, you guys. <laughs> so impressive. Okay, one card fell. <laughs> look at that and we have clear your mind interesting you guys once again the mind space is coming through both gemini air energy interesting i really really feel like your mind is so strong my dear it is very very strong and i don't even think that you are aware of how powerful your mind is one thing that will that will definitely help you with you know getting as powerful as you know you're here or your future self is coming through as is through really understanding yourself and really understanding your strength i also feel like you're going to feed your mind a lot um you're going to make sure that you you know give it the information it needs also um i'm hearing very clearly the um, the peace it needs you know i really feel like you're gonna be very big when it comes to um, taking care of you know um your mental body when it comes to i'm seeing for some reason meditation coming through so so much it's kind of like in order to empower something you have to um one second i'm getting so many messages coming through right now yeah okay i'm gonna i'm gonna talk about another message in a minute but what i was about to say was in order to empower something or someone right the confusion first needs to be away and it's kind of like especially when we talk about the mind space you know there's just so much happening because we're constantly um like there are so much out there that gets space into our mind you know negative news so much impressions um online offline there's just so so many things and what I'm seeing here is that when it comes to your future self, they always make sure that there is a level of clarity in their headspace. So there is no clutter and their mind is sharp, okay? There is something so impressive about how your future self thinks or how they go about stuff. Pal Chi, do you even know how intelligent you are? Like, this is a serious question. You have so much strength. You have so much potential. I'm wondering whether you're aware of it and whether you're creating a space right now, okay, whenever you're watching this, whether you're creating a space in which you are enhancing it, okay, because your future self definitely does. Your future self creates a great environment for your mind to um, to function sharp and I'm hearing very, very smart. Wow. Your mind is going to lead the way. 
I feel like a lot of this success that I've been talking about regarding your career is going to come from very crucial decisions that you're going to take. You're going to think it through. You're going to be very clear about it. And you just know, okay? You just know exactly. I'm hearing how to win the game strategically. How to go about the things in the most profitable and smartest way. This is your future self not working hard, but working smart towards their goals, towards their ambitions in life. This is incredible. Wow. My dear pal too, this is all I have for you guys for today. As always, my dear, please feel free to let me know how you feel about this reading. And yeah, as always, my dear... If you haven't, I also invite you to subscribe to the channel. If you do, my dear, don't forget to hit the bell because otherwise you may not get notified when I upload and you pick a new card or candle wax reading. And my dear, as always, if you would like to connect with me more on Instagram, I invite you there as well. My beautiful pal too. Take care, my dear. Hey pal 3, welcome to your reading my dear. Now let's see what secrets and surprises your future self would like to share with you about your future. What do you need to know? What's coming for you? What don't you see coming yet? Okay, let's see what insights we can get. What your future self would like to share here. Now my dear, as always, first of all, I would like to get you guys some tarot cards let's see for my beautiful health three secrets and surprises your future self wants to share with you about your future let's see for my dear pal three okay that's enough so let's see for my dear pile three <laughs> This card fell right there. So we have the three of pentacles here. Wow. The knight of wands. Ooh, we have the queen of cups. The strength card. Interesting. For my dear pile three, look at that. We even have the lovers. Wow. Goodness. <laughs> the nine of cups. The ace of swords. One last card, please. Oh, too many. Only one, please. Only one. Only one, once again. <laughs> For my dear pile three. Okay. Look at that. We're ending the reading with the Queen of Swords here. This is literally your card, right? And at the back of the deck, we have the King of Cups. Interesting. All right, okay. So, my dear pal three, there are a few things that we need to talk about <laughs> for sure because I'm getting a lot of messages coming through for you. So, let's see what secrets and surprises your future self wants to share with you about your future. What information, what insights can we get, okay? What energies are coming through for you? The first thing that I really need to talk about here and of course, it depends on your situation, okay? Some of you guys, maybe you're single right now. For others, maybe you are in a relationship. But I see your future self here, okay? Being in a very, very significant relationship. And of course, you know, take it how it resonates. If you're watching this and you don't want to be in a relationship, then of course, you have free will, right? This message may not be for you. But this is definitely one of the strongest messages coming through here. And I really, really need to talk about it. So what I'm seeing in here, 
one big surprise or secret <laughs> that your future self would like to share with you is that there is a very, very significant connection coming towards you, my dear. And when I say significant, I'm talking here about counterpart. I'm talking here about even a spiritual connection that you're having with a very significant other. And this is love, okay? This is love. I feel like for many of you guys, this could even be this is how I'm hearing it, okay? I heard love of my life. Of course, as always, apply it how it resonates. You know, some people may not believe in it or um, some people may not believe in spiritual connections, whatever it may be. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. But I can't emphasize enough how strongly this message is coming through. I really, really feel like this is love, okay? You're connecting here with someone who it is incredible you're sharing a very very um special connection with them and i really feel like the love is not something which will develop the love is something that will be there pretty pretty early on honestly you may see each other you may be in love okay love at first sight this is really the energy once again take it how it resonates but this is how it's coming through and what I find very interesting is that it's not going to take you very long to understand who this person is for you. I really feel like you're going to recognize them as someone who you have a very special connection with or someone who is a very significant person in your life. Of course, it depends but if this is someone who you have a spiritual connection with, which, you know, is a very, um, I'm hearing a very old connection, someone that you may have even experienced multiple lifetimes with. And of course, when you meet them in this lifetime, even if it's for the very first time, you will kind of feel like you already know them or you will kind of feel like, they're not a stranger you know there is something very familiar about them about their energy it feels like i don't know why okay but i'm literally hearing connecting with someone you've been missing for a very long time even if you're not aware of it for some reason okay wow <laughs> this is a very intense intense connection i have to say it this can very much be a very significant romantic soulmate or even a twin flame okay this is something i'm seeing here as always take it how it resonates but that's what i'm getting i also would like to talk about the fact that one thing that your future self is sharing with me here is that the way you're going to lead your life here, it's all about being passionate and being... Um, also, there is this element of gratitude in here, okay? I really feel like the way you're leading your life is... you're very aware, you know, you're very mindful, you're very grateful, and you want to put into your energy into things that you're passionate about, things that make you happy. Even if um, you believe, let's just say in reincarnation, right, still, this person that you are right now, in the situation you are right now, you will never be you in this particular situation again, right? You will have another lifetime, but how things are in this lifetime is really just in this one here. And it kind of feels like you want to experience it, you want to explore it, you want to live passionately as much as you can with the person that you are right now. Um, this is so interesting because I also had another pal coming through when it comes to 
living their best life and it's coming through for you guys as well so maybe for some of you guys you were also drawn to another pile but I really feel like this sight or your future self they're truly leaving uh, excuse me they're truly leading a life which is all about being happy especially emotionally for example pile two was very mind dominated i would say they very led with their mind you know and stuff like that with you guys you're leading with your heart space with you guys you're leading with your emotions um as a strength okay and you're very in touch with your emotions i don't know how you you know how the connection right now is with you and your emotions how um things are because i'm just getting here the energy of your future self and how things um are in the future energetically here and what i'm receiving is that your future self has a beautiful connection to their own emotions they're in touch with their emotions they are healed is something i'm getting and i don't know why i'm getting this healing energy coming through maybe someone watching you have a blockage right now that you are aware of and that you're trying to um to work through or to better you know or to heal you may be on a healing journey but when I'm looking into the energy here, I can say that you are at a very, very good place emotionally. You are very conscious of your feelings, okay? You're very well balanced. And the person that I've been talking about that you will connect with is someone who is at a very similar space or at a similar place like you emotionally they're very emotionally intelligent they're very in tune with their emotion and they're very um mindful as well there's someone who honors not only their own feelings but other feelings like of other people as well <sighs> very caring very um very understanding person as well is coming through here and you guys, take it how it resonates. But I really need to say that. Yes, I'm also seeing marriage here. And even, yes, I even see children here. Okay, so take it how it resonates. I know not everyone wants to get married. Not everyone wants to have children, right? So you see for yourself what messages are for you. But it is coming through. Honestly if you desire to have a, a a home a home environment with a significant other creating beautiful things um whether it's children whether it's um other ways that you express your creative energy you know i really feel like this is your pile because this is exactly what i'm seeing here it's all about expressing it's all about bringing this creative energy out and shaping it in a way that is not only impressive but really makes you happy and even i'm seeing other people are very impressed of for some of you guys if it's not children it could also be very well pets i'm seeing in here okay Well, I don't know why, but I really feel like we just opened up a door when it comes to your future, when it comes to the future energies, a closed door, you know, a door that may have been um, close to you, you didn't see it, it could have been a very big surprise or even a huge secret, you know, looking into these energies in your, um, yeah, that your future self is sharing here with you. Because it's maybe something that you haven't expected. Although I feel like for some of you guys, especially the part of the um, 
you know, the spiritual connection. It could be something that you're probably aware of because it came through so intensely that even before this comes into your life, I feel like you're very much aware of it energetically maybe you are even already in tune in it maybe you are receiving messages regarding this connection it may not be the biggest surprise to you honestly but still there are reasons why your future self is sharing these messages with you in this reading okay maybe to confirm something to someone or maybe to give you a glimpse regarding what energies your future hold or um what you need to know about it you know wow i would like to get you guys some some more oracle cards let's see my dear pile three secrets and surprises your future self let's see would like to share with you at that be proud of yourself wow i feel this is two things first of all your future self is someone that they're very proud of <laughs> that's the first thing and second of all your future self wants me to share with you that you should be very proud of yourself already as well okay even if you think you're not where you would like to be yet even if you feel like your journey um, is still long, you know, even if you haven't achieved the things that you're, you know, going towards, still there is so much that you already have created for yourself. And this, I don't know why I'm hearing warrior, you're someone who has experienced a lot of things in life and nothing made you give up you always continued and your future self is so proud of the journey you've come and there is so much more coming towards you that you know is going to show you how incredible you are oh, wow this is so beautiful honestly it feels like your future self is giving you a hug here close your eyes <laughs> and imagine giving yourself a hug you know this is exactly the energy of this reading i'm getting very often you know for example when i um do readings regarding future spouse right like let's say the channeled messages i do every month i always get so much love coming through from them you know from your future spouse to you or even when i get messages regarding your spirit guides coming through I get so many love energies coming through for you, them sending it your way. But this is really about you sending love towards yourself, okay? Your future self giving you a hug that really comes from unconditional love. And very often when we think about love, we think about love outside of us, you know, but there is an infinite amount of love within us as well that we can share with ourselves, and this is what your future self is doing here they're sending literally a lot of love towards you because that's exactly what you deserve you deserve to have a beautiful connection with yourself you deserve to feel love and your future self is sharing this with you okay even the be proud of yourself message it's full of love okay it's being seen and loved for who you are for your authentic self too many one more card please one more okay look at that and we have find a balance yeah, I talked about the emotional balance that I already felt like was coming through big, big time here. But I really feel like this is more so a message for you right now in the sense that 
I feel like your future self would like to remind you that every single day we can find little things. They don't have to be big things. But even in the little things, we can find things that bring balance to us or make us feel centered or good about ourselves. Um, things that keep us in a good space. And I don't know why, but I really feel like it's it's like an invitation for you to look into your life and surround yourself with things, energies, people, whatever it may be, that make you feel like um, once again, I'm hearing loved or nurtured balanced it could be a certain activity maybe that keep brings you in a very beautiful space in a very safe space it could be maybe a best friend or a loved one of yours that you know spending time with them is literally like i'm hearing self-care self-nurturing um or it could be literally a self-care um ritual that you have whatever it may be but your future self would like to invite you into the space more, okay? I'm hearing today. Do more things that make you feel nurtured, make you feel like your cup is full, make you feel like loved. So my dear pile three, these are all the messages I have for you guys for today. I am not receiving anything else. As always, my dear, please feel free to let me know how you feel about this reading. And yeah, as always, my dear, if you haven't, I of course also invite you to subscribe to the channel. If you do, my dear, don't forget to hit the bell because otherwise you may not get notified when I upload and you pick a card or candle wax reading. And my dear, as always, if you would like to connect with me more on Instagram, I invite you there as well. My beautiful pal three, take care, my dear. <laughs>